Hello. Uh, welcome to another Onversation, which is a, an Ownet conversation covering some of the basic ideas of Ownet. And really, it's helpful to us at the moment because uh, it's an introduction to what we're about and something of an induction for people who we are hoping will join our team. We have new uh, premises, a new base in Avairu up in the north of Portugal, where our tech team will be based. And we are actively recruiting uh, for such people. And we, we have mentioned this in earlier videos. But uh, if you are a tech person and you'd like to know more, do drop us a line in the comments. Uh, Michael Brody here, founder and CEO, who can speak for himself as well. Hello there. <laughs> and I'm Carl Munson, uh, town crier and uh, community builder at our net. And uh, we just posted a video, which you'll see below here on Facebook Live, about our three key principles, the virtual village, uh, peer refinement and augmented locality. Uh, and we're now drilling down. And Michael, I'm hoping you say some more about the virtual village idea and how we're more about community than we are about the eye-centric part or major development, if you like, of social media. It's all about the, the individual, it would seem. Yeah, um, I, I'm fundamentally the, um, the our social structures and the communication systems we have currently are designed to um, support people that are competitive, want to get to the top. Um, it it emphasises uh, um, uh, sort of sports prowess. It emphasises uh, things like Kardashians. It emphasises stuff like Donald Trump. So anyone that can be more extreme, more more loud, actually tends to rise to the top. Um, now the amazing thing about people is they've got two sides to them. One is the egocentric side, which is very very well catered for by the present systems, and perhaps, you know arguably over catered for. But the other thing is the social connection. Uh, and there's so much evidence that people are suffering from a lack of social connection. There's an increase in suicide rates. There's, um, so people feel under tremendous stress trying to uh, um, compete with their friends on looking good on Facebook, on, on Pinterest, Instagram, etc. So the whole intention of our net is to create uh, an environment where people can get together and, and work together and people are valued by the contribution they make to each other rather than the, the degree to which they stand out from each other. Mm. That's the fundamental thing behind what we're trying to do. Well, you make a really good point there. Um, and you mentioned, I think, you know, suicide rates. And I found out only yesterday, actually, that uh, uh, forgive me for, for not being entirely um, able to place the year of these statistics or even verify them. But it makes an interesting point that I think that the, um, the leading... Uh, cause of, of death uh, of one and a half million people was diabetes. Mm -hmm. And second to that was uh, 800,000 people who took their own lives. Yeah. And terrorism, the great fear of so many people, is tiny in comparison yeah. with that. And, and in fact, so are wars and conflicts. So it would appear with, with that statistic in mind, with 800,000 people taking their own lives they're actually at war with ourselves yeah. as much as we're at war with anybody else even though the, the the mass media would have us believe that it's about conflict and and terrorism elsewhere and the reason i mention it is because the 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 context in which i heard that statistic was talking about why is it that the celebrities who seem to have it all the very people whose lives are celebrated on social media yeah. why would they take their own lives yeah. and there's clearly something there's some sort of vacuum there, isn't there? Uh, I don't know what we call it, a spiritual vacuum. Some, something that's, that's missing that accounts for the fact that the people we seem to love and adulate, yes, the people we, we love and adulate seem capable of taking their own lives. Uh, Anthony Bourdain, uh, Robin Williams. It's a really disturbing thing for people to take that on board. And uh, perhaps there is this, uh, the work that, that we could do as humanity is to, have a greater understanding of how we're connected and the the importance of community the importance of the virtual village rather than this like you were saying you know the person who shouts loudest or creates the prettiest pictures has the most kudos in our society yeah and in fact what's, what's really interesting too is that that um, there are lots and lots of celebrities who who became celebrities by virtue of their passions who uh, wanted, really wanted to become famous and, and, and hugely wealthy, achieved it, and then found that didn't make the difference. And it's very, very uh, easy for us to get really angry with that because they've got everything that we want, 
but actually they're not getting what they really want. And there's quite a lot of evidence that if we were to become rich and famous, we wouldn't be getting what we really want from that, that fame and that wealth. But there's, there's actually something else which we want more than all that. And I, I would argue so strongly that what we really, really want is community. Yeah, we want, we want friends around us. We want support. We want to be able to be ourselves um, and not having to act, not act out all the time. And connection. And yeah. that's the, that's another interesting thing, isn't it? With the, with the lives of the, of the rich, famous, and glamorous. Yeah. The likes of the Russell Brands and Jim Carrey, who who seem to be saying, "Go back! Don't yes. don't come this way!" Yeah. Because the problem seems to be the more celebrated you become, the more lonely you become because you are you're elevated to a position of loneliness. Almost yes. as it's, it's almost a byproduct of, yes. of that process. We can't we can't have special people among us anymore, can we? Have to yeah. elevate them to a separate status. That's right. In which they they are necessarily lonely and cut off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there you go. That's the the virtual village part. If um, if you feel that that speaks to you. Um, as part of your your makeup and understanding of the world, and you would, you're a technical person who'd like to be part of our team, and and really, you know, applying yourself and investigating uh, your development work in that way, in that spirit, do get in touch in the comments below, or or go to our site www.ownet.news and get in touch with us via there, please. Bye for now. Bye.